three. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. See you soon, Earth. We're coming up on Mars, the fourth planet from the sun. Oh, it's really red. But what's that white stuff? Those are polar ice caps, just like Earth. <laughs> hey, Chester. Oh, uh, hi. Where are you guys now? We're just passing Jupiter. It's so big, it's hard to miss. It's the largest planet in the solar system. Did you know that Jupiter is 1,300 times bigger than Earth? Yeah, huge. And it's mostly gas, right? And it has lots of storms, too. There's one that's been going on for over 300 years. Whoa, that's a long time for bad weather. So, Chester, we're making really good time. We'll be there soon. Okay, see you in a bit. <sighs> Look, Nash, Saturn. Wings, pretty wings. Yeah, it has rings. Cool, aren't they? They're made of millions of ice crystals. Some of them are really teeny tiny, no bigger than a speck of dust. And some of them are enormous, big as a house. I'm dancing like nobody's watching, because nobody's watching. Woohoo! Yeah. Ooh, ooh, bibble -bop 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 -bop. Passing planet number seven, Uranus. Rings, rings! Hey, it's got rings too. It's such a weird one. It spins on its side. Not too much farther to Pluto now. Chester must be ready for us to get there. Uh-huh. Yay, Neptune, the last planet in the solar system. We have seen them all. Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune. So what you call Pluto. It's a dwarf planet. And there it is! Chester, Chester. Hey, Chester, come on! <laughs> <laughs> hey, Chester, sorry it took so long. Uh, Chester, were you dancing? Uh... <laughs> <laughs> oh, Chester. It was huge. Let's find out. Whoa! <laughs> We're gaining on it! Woohoo! You know, I think that giant snowball is a comet. Comets are just big balls of ice and dust and rock until they get near the sun. Look, it's changing. Is it melting? It looks like the heat of the sun is setting it on fire. Because the sun's energy heats the comet's ice and gases, it's growing a long tail. Whoa, whoa! It's the rocks and ice from the comet's tail. Willow, what do I do? Ah! You got this, Lily. Remember the button I told you not to touch? Well, punch it! Punching it! Ah! 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 Again! Again! A million planets in
Young Lily. Want to head for home? Aye, aye, Captain. It's the comet. Look at that tail. Amazing. But now that we're back, I think I better get to work on those chairs. Yes, please. <laughs> Starting with the seat belts. <laughs> It's okay, Lily. It's not your fault. I didn't want to play with blocks anymore anyway. <laughs> Great flying, Willow. That asteroid really stuck up on us, huh? Well, we won't let that happen again. Warning, warning, warning. Asteroid approaching. Oh! Okay, so an asteroid snuck up on us twice. Definitely not a third time. <gasps> See? <laughs> it's okay, everyone. That bump was just another asteroid hitting ours. <laughs> another one? But I thought all the asteroids were super far apart. They are, but sometimes they cross paths, and wham! They break up into smaller pieces. It's been happening for millions of years. It's just what asteroids do. It is, isn't it? Chester, you're rebuilding your toy? I am. Well, what if it breaks again? Oh, it will for sure. But I won't let it bother me because I like playing with blocks. It's what I do. Me too. be surprised by another asteroid again. So I'm buckling up, just in case. Me do, me do. Polos, we are not getting surprised by another asteroid. Uh-oh, Willow, please get us out of here before I say anything else. <laughs> So an asteroid belt isn't what keeps their pants from falling down. <laughs> but maybe asteroid tape will help keep their pieces together. Corby, <laughs> <laughs> that's really silly. I want to be the first explorer to walk on the moon. <gasps> the first? Corby? Yeah, I'm never first at anything. This will be my first first ever. That deserves a glow stick. Maybe two. How well can you twirl? But, but, Gorby, um... Something wrong, Chester? Yeah, Gorby won't be the first explorer to walk on the moon. Neil Armstrong was the first astronaut to walk on the moon. He did it many years ago. Gorby's going to be so upset. It's okay, Chester. He's going to find out eventually. It's better just to tell him. He'll understand. Ta-da! Who wants to take a picture of me being first on the moon? Me! Uh, Yay! Uh, <laughs> Me! Huh? Dobby! Lucky! Arriving at the moon. It's kind of hard to miss it, huh? <laughs> Buckle up, Polos. It's time for a moon landing. <laughs> Uh, Gorby, there's 
there's something I need to tell you. Whoa! Whoa! Uh, ah! Low gravity! I forgot. Easy peasy. I know. It takes a little getting used to. But it's fun to be this light and floaty. Yes, the moon's gravity is much lower than Earth's. But that's not what I was going to tell you. In fact, why don't I just show you? A flag? How did it get there? Astronauts planted it when they landed here back in 1969. So they were the first explorers to walk on the moon? Not me? <gasps> this is great! I know, it's, huh? Great? How? Because it's giving me a great idea! I may not be the first explorer to walk on the moon, but I am the first polo to walk on the moon. And it's my dream come true to be here with all my friends to enjoy it. Yay! Yeah! Yeah! Oh, right. yeah. <laughs> now, who's the highest jumper on the moon? Go! 